Hello, couplets. Welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot. Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Deadpool, a.k.a. Merc with a Mouth, a.k.a. Captain Chimichanga, a.k.a. All-Around Bad Guy. Well, bad guy, not saying he's a bad guy. Hit the movie theaters this weekend. In Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds once again reprises his role as the Merc with the Mouth, the anti-hero that would rather like to stick it to you with his sword than actually, like, take you to jail. But Deadpool hit the theaters, and it is, let's just say, I think it's a little bit of a success. Now, it's interesting for a superhero movie to be actually be released in February, which is oftentimes kind of a, a dead month. No pun intended. But also to have an action feature released on Valentine's Weekend, which is known for its romantic comedies. Well, interestingly enough, they did attempt a marketing of this movie in a very tongue-in-cheek way of Deadpool as a romantic comedy, and he even talks about it in the movie. Now, what is the overall plot to this? The story is, think of this movie as a three-issue comic book arc that tells you the origin of Deadpool while working in some cameos to some very popular characters and uh, a couple less known characters. And you really get a feel for who Deadpool is. Now, Deadpool is a mutant that happens to have a mutant healing factor that's times a thousand. So he can basically re-heal himself or heal himself and come back from virtually any kind of injury. He can think about Wolverine's healing factor, but whereas Wolverine kind of like needs to have a body to replenish himself, Deadpool pretty much just needs a blood cell. That's all he needs to re re blood Deadpool himself from pool blood. That's how it works. So this story takes us through not only Deadpool's origin, but also What's great about this is this is the first time where a comic book movie stayed very true to the source material. Very, very true to the source material. Deadpool isn't a Spider-Man. He's not one of these friendly neighborhood superheroes like Captain America who's going to constantly go out and do what's good for the world. Deadpool's out to help himself. And he's out to correct what's happened wrong in his life and that's what this movie's all about is that it's Deadpool wanting to correct a wrong that was done to him with, through the process of Ajax giving him his mutant healing factor and that he's tracking down the guy that he thinks is going to be able to correct his very ugly face now his face is sometimes sometimes referred to as the love child of McJagger and Freddy Krueger it's not pretty he's not a pretty man and this movie does stick to that. Now, for all of those mothers out there that think that you can take this movie and edit it down to a PG-13, there's no fucking way that you can do it. And I use the word fucking for a reason. This movie has a lot of adult languages, a lot of adult situations, um, nudity, you saw Full Frontal on women, Full Frontal on men, although the Full Frontal on men, you could say, was kind of digitally edited. Because I don't know, I've never seen Ryan Reynolds Wong. I don't know if it actually looks like that. So, but the adult situations that take place and the language and the violence, there is no way that you could take this movie and edit it down to it being a PG-13. If you did take it down and edit, edit this movie down to a PG-13, you probably might be looking at like a 35 to 45 minute movie, which that's like a made for TV hour special. That's not a movie. But this movie's great. I loved it. I've seen it twice in the last 72 hours. I saw it once in IMAX, and the other one was on a digital special effects screen. Um, it's a highfalutin screen that, that has digital sound. The screen's bigger. The digital purity of it is it's crystal clear. It's such a great, great adult movie. If you're looking for a movie to go out and have a great time with your friends and if your significant other is a nerd, then like you are, then it's a perfect movie because it's, it is hilarious from 
Just even starting with the credits at the beginning of the movie, it's hilarious. And when Deadpool breaks the fourth wall, it's just awesome. And the characters in the movie are so true to their comic book form. This is why this movie, I think, is a perfect mixture of Fox, 20th Century Fox owns the rights to the X-Men. Marvel does not. Now, it's a Marvel product, and a lot of people get confused that there's a difference between Marvel and Marvel Studio. So this movie actually works perfectly as a bridge. And I think that's what they were doing. They're like, hey, if Fox ever loses the rights to the mutants, then this movie fits in perfectly into what Marvel Studios already has going on. The end battle takes place on a quote unquote battleship. But if you look, there are remnants that this is actually the, the broken battleship it's the helicarrier. Let's just say it. it's the helicarrier from the Avengers movies. So this movie fits perfectly, especially since they used a different Colossus. Now Colossus has already appeared in the X-Men movies. This one is true to the comic books, which Marvel is known for, and he's Russian. So always remember, there's only four to five minutes or moments where you can decide if you're going to be a hero or if you're going to be a bad guy. You're not going to be a bad guy, Deadpool. We're going to make you an X-Men yet. That was my very bad Colossus impression. But this movie fits in great because they have already have a Colossus in the mutants. And the it looks like, I mean, you can basically take any New England mansion and throw the Avengers School for Gifted Youngsters label on the front. And hey, you got the X-Men headquarters. And I loved how they talked about like how the school got, gets blown up every five or six years. Blowing up the school is good. It builds character. It's a great movie. Go out and see it. I heard, I wholly, full heartedly, five, five, five paws with this movie for my review. I think you should go see it. Deadpool's hilarious. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot more of this character in the future. You're going to see tons of merchandising popping out the wazoo when it comes to Deadpool. And they already are working on Deadpool too. So stick with me. We're going through 50. We're going to boost this up. We're not just going to do 50. We're going to do 52 movies this year in 2016. I know I originally said 50. We're going to do 52 because we're trucking through and there's so many good movies coming out. So stick with me. We have a lot more movies throughout the rest of the year. And until next time, goodbye, comrades. Bye, goblets. Like a god in the dark, I see you calling my name I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same Every weapon you are throwing right into my back Doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick Let me go Let me go Let me go